I think that under the current climate and what the city of New York is facing, that John is the perfect candidate in his upcoming primary. You know, New York City is at a cross uh, road. We have this, one of the safest cities in America. And the question is, do we continue that? You know, tourism is up to 53 million people a year, which benefits our entire economy. Why? People in New York can walk, people that are tourists, they can walk around and be safe. I'm the one that goes around and supports our police department. I support the job they're doing. I don't try to call them wall cops, which is wrong. You know, I call the city council sometimes the silly council. The law that they are trying to pass. Well, when you describe a criminal that just robbed the bank across the street, and you say, well, was he white, was he black, was he Asian? I can't tell you. Was he 20 years old or was he 60 years old? I can't tell you. Was he male or female? I can't tell you. What are we gonna do? We wanna turn the streets back to the hoodlums? There's no better tool in a measure of man than to see the life he's led. And his life has been led through hard work, making tough decisions, growing up with nothing, and becoming successful. That's a track record. That's what puts people in the Hall of Fame. We, we sit and we look at their record of how they played the game. And he's played the game better than anyone else I can think of right now. We've supported Bill Thompson in the Democratic primary. Okay? We're supporting John in the Republican primary. The race for mayor right now in New York City is wide open. Bill Thompson's comments just recently regarding the uh, case in Florida. I, I gotta be honest, I am greatly disappointed in his comments. Greatly disappointed. Um, I haven't spoken to him about it. I wasn't there to, um, you know, see exactly what transpired when, when those comments were made. But at the end of the day, Bill Thompson's a good guy. Okay, we're, we're, I'm hoping to have two of the best potential candidates in a race. Then I'm going to really be in a conflict when it comes down. Well, you know, I I would tell one and all for everybody to call their council people and make sure the Communities Unsafety Act is not voted for and we support our police department and keep our cities safe and I think that's the number one priority in the next 10 days. Thank you one and all, thank you.